Hey guys. Hi. Happy Hi. Wednesday. I am Gabby Santo, and in case you don't know, because this is in our main group, this is Nancy. Hi. She's one of the trainers at the school, and this is Lauren. She's Hi. another trainer at the school. And we are here to teach you a really awesome game that will change everything that you're doing with your dog. And that awesome game is Tuck. We start. Brittany, what's it called? <laughs> ExpertDogTips.com. ExpertDogTips.com. And you can get a bunch of amazing tips, including this one, I think, yes. on that site. So you can go there and download a free PDF. It's amazing, we'll if I might say so myself. The comment section below. Yeah, we'll put it in the comment section below because I'm going to forget. Brittany will remember. Right. Um, but I think that people heard us say tug and they probably went, tug? How does tug improve? Yeah. Why do I do that? Yeah. And the reason that we know you say that is because you think tug means your dog is out of control. Right. Which is the whole point. Right. Right. Because we want you to train your dog in out of control mode. Mm -hmm. Right? How yeah. do people normally train their dogs? In Sitting in front room. of them in a nice yeah. quiet room. Right. Yeah. That's not real life. No. So okay. their training holds up when they're alone in the kitchen holding a cheese stick facing north. Right. Yes. So where does that get you? To, right, with right. nobody in the house. Right. right, and you're like, this is awesome, great. Film it, put it on YouTube, and then send me the video of what it looks like when people come over to visit. Yeah. Or your doorbell rings, and yes. you try to ask your dog to sit. It's not gonna be so great. So, we teach Tug as a way to get your dog super cranked up, and then teach him to shut that down. Mm -hmm. So he can go from really cranked to really calm. Yeah. Super party boy to yeah. school boy. Mm -hmm. What would you like next? So I'm going to grab Indy and show you how to do this. And in the meantime, Lauren and Nancy are going to talk a little more about it. Good. All right. I have a point to add to that. You can add, go and tell them about our moo tugger too. Okay. Okay. So the other thing is not only are you getting your dog cranked up and then you can get them to go from zero to 60 and then back, but, and it's funny because we worked on this in class today, mm -hmm. right? People having dogs that go and steal bath mats or other things, if you have a tug, you can teach a fabulous drop it. Right. And that way, when your dog picks up something it's not supposed to, and it's already in their mouth, you can say drop it. And that really is the way we teach drop it all the time. Yeah. Um, so the more I can get a dog to tug with me, the better I can actually get that drop it, which I think is so important. Yeah, and we always say too, I mean, you know, a lot of dogs, and obviously all dogs love food, but some dogs don't really yes. like food, and they're more toy motivated, mm -hmm. and you can use that for their distraction, you can use it as a reward, yeah. you can use it through all of your training and not have to touch food at all. Yeah. So it's good for dogs who maybe have allergies right. or you know, dogs who don't really like food that much. So I love tug. I think I use it all the time. You it's do. Just good. Impulse control. I, like, yeah. I always have a tug toy. I'm loving it now too because you love it so much. Yeah, I always have it like tucked in my pants and I look like I have a tail and people are like, what is wrong with that girl? It's just a tug toy. Yeah, <laughs> and recalls. Yep. I love using it for the end of the recall. That's mm -hmm. such a great reward. Because they're kind of getting used to getting the food. The right. Cookie. And it's relationship building, too. You know, you're doing something with your dog. So your dog finds you interesting because you are the one that controls the tuck toy. I think there's a message. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, because I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for Nancy to read it. It says, hi from Allison and Oliver. <gasps> hey, oh, hey, hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'll be feeling better, and I'll see you at class. Hopefully, <coughs> hey. Um, And I was thinking about Cody, our little shepherd friend. Yeah, He's yeah. on that special diet. And oh, we yes. alternate toys with his special Absolutely. Because the kibble gets a little bit boring. Yes. Um, so he loves a tug toy, so I can really get him to work when he's a tug toy. Yeah. Love and tug. we like all tug toys, but not all tug toys are created equally. Um, this is a Moo Tugger. We sell them at our school. We can put them in the this. costume. And it is basically uh, what they milk a cow with. It's a liner. Can you see that against my white jacket? Yes, it's very unusual. Believe it or not, dogs love it. I think the farmers figured that out because if they have a tug handle, but I like to. Um, I like the dog tugging here, or some dogs like Indy prefer the handle, mm -hmm. which also has that same rubber on it. Um, so I'm just going to go straight away into it with him tugging. Three, 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 two, one. Get it! And you can make comments as I'm doing this. Okay. Right. So body handling. Yeah. We need to talk about that. 
Nope, and this is another great thing with Tug. As she's playing, and look how cranked up he's getting. And she's touching him all over his face, his side. She's kind of like almost sneaking up on him and touching him. And then, see, isn't that awesome? So, yes, it She is. uses out, same as drop it. Mm -hmm. Ready, get it. So, this is your dog. Oh, that's Nancy. Sorry, Tony. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this is your dog when people come to the house. And you're greeting the guests and you're trying to control right. your dog. And you're going, S-I-T, 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 although you probably don't spell it out. Mm -hmm. Your dog's like, don't care. But our dogs, when they're tugging, they learn to go from super crank, sit, oh, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good. down. Oops. That would thank you. Get it! You didn't think you I was, was going to say down. Yeah. Because I thought you were going to say sit. Ready, 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 ready. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. You like that end better now? Also, tug is a command. Right. When we say tug, you can't say no thank you. Right. So that's how we get it to work. Because when we say tug, you better tug. Ooh, get it. Okay. No fit tugging. No fit tugging. Down. Nice. Oh, nice. That was so much better. Oh, get it. And do you see how engaged he is like, yeah. with Kathy? He is like, you are the most interesting person in this room right now. And fun. And fun. Yeah. I, I feel like if we called Indy over here, he'd be like, not right now, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm playing right. with Kathy. <laughs> right. Yeah, And that's what you want. You want to be more interesting than anything else out there. So right. Now, one thing that should be said about Tug is, well, there's a lot of things, yeah. um, is that your dog is vulnerable when they're tugging. So if you're outside and you're in a field or a park, and you're doing this with your dog, there may be other dogs in the area who get cranked up and want to come yes. target your dog. Mm -hmm. They might want to jump on them, they might want to take the toy, or they might not be so friendly. Mm -hmm. So my job as an owner and a handler is to keep checking out the landscape and see if there's a problem. And then if I saw a dog coming towards me, I would just sit and right. start the game. Right. Shut it right off. The game. Yeah. Good. Are you getting tired? Yeah, it's good. Cardio. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Allison said, what a good boy. He is, he is, he is a good, good boy. And this was started. He was hard to fix like a compliment. Yeah. But I think she had the tuggy. You know yeah. what? I really do think I said sit, though. Oh, um, I, and I pet him and rewarded sit. him. Sorry. That's okay. It's awesome. Um, try that again. What a That's good boy. Sit. Oh, Lindy. It happens to trainers, sit. too. <laughs> Wait. Okay, tell you. What a good boy! Indy, he's such a good That's all my better game! Oh, good decision! So, so, I think this is what was going to. We think like dog trainers. So, he blew the sit, and I put him back. But then I said... And made it better. Because sit... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. To sweep this under the rug, right? And say, you know, let that go. Because letting that yeah. go leads to letting the next and the next and the next. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I don't know why my sit doesn't work. Well, right. I know why. Because the one time you were distracted and not focused and the dog got away with it, that's what the dog said, oh, these are the new rules. Exactly. And how long did that take? Right. Like three minutes, minutes, right? Maybe, maybe two, not even. But and just you saw the great reward he got. For not going to learn. He went, oh, crap, I'm wrong. And then we said, yeah, get it. So he liked the process. This is not breaking him down emotionally. This is building him up. Right. Because he loves to train. Right. He loves exactly. to train because it's always fun. And if you didn't fix it right there, in his mind, he's like, ah, oh, there might be an opportunity. And the next time, he might get out much quicker. Now, some people don't want, good boy, anyway. Some people don't want to teach Tug because they're like, oh, my dog will be grabbing stuff right out of my hands and pulling out my clothes. That's their resistance to it. And I think it'll make them mean. It doesn't make them mean. No. Uh, but if you have a dog with an aggression issue or reactivity issue, certainly work with us at the school. Or if you're not in Jersey, you're not local, find a trainer you can work with. Um, but in general, we find this to be an awesome, safe, and really impactful game for your dogs for your training. But the other thing is that he would not think of grabbing this toy, and I'll show you. Yep. Indy, break. Woo. Good boy. So I'm doing all this, right? I'm doing all this. I'm dropping it on the floor. Good boy. Good boy. Get good it. Boy. Yes. Good boy. Even and though he wanted to get it, he right. knows that he's not allowed to touch that toy until he right. gets permission. 
it actually increases your impulse control, right. which is the opposite of what you would think because you're getting them so cranked. But that was a perfect example of what it what it can do. And that's also going to help with everything else. Too. Oh, 100%. It's like yeah. a basic foundation for yeah. everything else in your training. Did you see him bounce up? He really wasn't going to get it, but he jumped near it. Like, I wonder if I can. Right. Because they're always testing. That's why we say dog training is not a six-week event. It's a lifetime event. And that doesn't mean you'll be at the school for a lifetime, but you have to be present time conscious every single minute and say, uh-oh, that's falling apart. I need to make a note of it. Mm -hmm. It's like the picture on the wall. It's a little crooked. Fix it. Don't yeah. wait till it's Don't hanging let it, off the right, Don't right. let it sit there. Yep. Ready? Do you want to go in your kennel? Nice. Good boy. Two, three. <gasps> kennel. Nice job. You can't see it, but he actually he did would. go into his Of course he did. We can, yes. It's right there. <laughs> Good boy. And the nice thing with that time. Thing mm -hmm. because that's the command and you have to listen and he would yeah and that's the beauty of training is you can pass it on to mm -hmm. right you can pass it on to people who are doing it correctly right right yeah. so but you've got to make sure you train the people which is a whole nother lie yes how is. you train the people how to train in your people. life to not be the savage one. that's a yeah. set that's more than and that's <laughs> that is a lifetime series yeah, that's a that's a yeah. <laughs> series. we call it spouse training Yes. And it's much Family fun. training. Wow. Yeah. 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 And yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's true. But we all do it because we all live with people. Mm -hmm. Right. So we are responsible and we get pushed back, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, About I get it a lot. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm crazy for the things that I do or the things that I tell her not to do. But, it, yes. Yeah. Why, why my dogs are how they exactly. are. <laughs> just, exactly. Thank God I met my husband before uh, when I was a teenager and when I started this dog training thing. So he gets it. Or or he just doesn't ask why anymore. Yeah. He just, whatever she says. Because it, evidently it works. Because <laughs> all our dogs are good. Um, and then you raise your kids that way. I was just going to say, Riley has been like, certain things she'll be like, well, I just thought that I should do. I'm like, no, no, no. And she's like, okay, that's fine. And then yeah. she just walks away. Like, See, she gets it. And your Riley is her niece. Oh, she's my niece. Yeah. And so she's raising her to be an awesome dog trainer. She thinks and she is a dog trainer. So yes. <laughs> I think one day Riley's going to be on a live with us. Yes. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. She'll have a lot of fun. Too. And your kids, too. Okay. You taught them. No, you taught I, them. Oh, I thought they were coming. But they could yeah, come. Yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. Party at Cappy's. Yeah. yeah. Everybody come over. Yes. No, absolutely. Um, my kids all know exactly how to handle a dog, and they're very, they, they abide by the rules. Actually, a funny story, when I first started working at the school, one of my kids came up, and a dog was jumping on him, jumping on him. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, that means they like me. And I said, mm. no, that doesn't mean you like, they like you, and you have just undone everything that I've been working on. Mm -hmm. So now we are very strict in the Desimone household. Yeah. There is no <laughs> jumping ever. There is... Leash, crate, and they very come around to it. And I think it's kids quicker than adults because they haven't had the decades of right. doing it. Wrong, and something right? like tug, I'm like, play tug with them. It's right. a good way to, that, to show that they And like Nancy kids. would teach her kids how to play yes. tug. Right. And Lauren wouldn't let her little niece, Riley, play no. tug because she's four. No, she doesn't play with the dogs. Right. Yes. Um, she knows, and, like, she can only play with our, like, she's only with our dogs. Like, not everybody's dogs are going to be like our dogs. Like, yes. everybody's dogs are different, you know? You don't right. go up and just touch another dog, you know? You, it's the whole spiel. It's a lot of work. It is a lot But we can tug, tug, <laughs> tug is appropriate for adults. No. And the young, uh, and the older adolescents. Right. Now. So I think an appropriate age for Tug may be a really on it nine, ten year old. Depending yeah. on the size of your job. Yeah. My kids are 50 pounds. Right. And depending 21. on the size of your kid. Right. But my kids <laughs> have a little nine year old. Well, that was an adult. <laughs> oh my gosh. In dog years. Okay. Um, so that is our awesome session on Tug, why you need it, what all the myths were, and how to teach it, and how to teach your family to do it yes. or not to do it. Yeah. And don't forget, look in the comments below where you can download the awesome PDF with 10 dog training tricks. If you don't have them, they are super important. And we awesome. teach them every single day at school. All right, guys, we will see you next week. If you need anything, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you then. Happy Bye -bye. training. Happy Bye. training.